people in these parts? Or were you going to tell them that Steve Austin, Houston, and others, and you too, Travis, had planned to declare for a republic? Interesting facts about famous people. Remade John Wayne movies. John Wayne made 179 film and television productions in a long career, mostly in leading roles. His career flourished from the silent era of the 1920s through the American New Wave. He was a top box office draw for three decades, arguably the most popular and number one ranked Western genre actor ever. Not surprisingly, there aren't many of his movies remade. After all, how do you improve on Wayne's movies? Still, there are a few. We will take a look at these today. If you enjoy this video, hit the notification button to get my new videos. If you want to check out my many other videos, head over to my channel. The link is in the description. Let's get into it. True Grit 2010 I know I'm not going to convince any John Wayne fan that this version is an improvement on the original. I'm not going to try. The same goes for fans of the 2010 version. I heard this version of the Coen brothers had gone back to the original material to make a more accurate version of the book. On the basis of that claim, I read it myself and have to say that the Wayne version is also a worthy version of the original story. I'm not sure why they bothered with this remake. Jeff Bridges is a worthy Rooster Cogburn, but it does nothing to lessen Wayne's performance in the original film. The main difference between the films is that Texas Ranger, LaBeouf, as played by Glenn Campbell, then Matt Damon respectively, doesn't die in the remake, as he does not die in the book. Likewise, John Wayne is still alive in his version, and Bridges does not survive his version. The Alamo, 2004. Clearly not a technical remake of Wayne's version, but it's interesting that Billy Bob Thornton's depiction of Davy Crockett is so different from Wayne's country cowboy interpretation of the character. A movie of words, too many in some places and too few in others. This is not the Alamo of Fess Parker or John Wayne, but neither is it a summary of all that was actually good or bad about the seminal event that created Texas, as a concept bigger than life and arguably still representative of the changing frontier in North America. I came away dismayed by what was not here. Any movie that presumes to portray an actual and well-documented historical event must do more than touch on this or that fragment of fact. Too many threads holding the story together are missing. Stagecoach, 1966. This movie was never going to stack up to the original. How can you improve on John Ford and John Wayne? You can't. Alex Cord is the Ringo Kid. He looks the part, rugged, tall and energetic, just like Wayne, but that's about it. Cord lacked the screen presence of John Wayne. He carried the role off with a believable grittiness that was somewhat convincing nonetheless. Among the cast is Bing Crosby in a non-singing role. His role of the disgraced doctor with a taste for whiskey was solid. It shows that despite some of his later roles, that the popular crooner could hold his own as an actor. Other supporting cast. Anne Margaret was very good. Red Buttons adds his comic manner to his role, lacking in the 1939 version. Mike Connors adds a familiar feel. Van Heflin gave his role his all, as you would expect. A satisfying but not excellent film. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. I appreciate your likes oh, and subscribers. Hit the notification Big button to get my new videos. Take a look at my channel we and check out my by. Facebook page. The links are in the description. I am Wrangler. Bye for now. See you again soon. Interesting facts about famous people.